Web activities are the way that your app can talk to other apps. You don't always want to re-implement functionality that other apps already implement. So in this screencast, I will show you how to use web activities effectively. Web activities allow your app to talk to other apps. They can be used by any app to request other apps to handle many kinds of situations. Any app can register itself as a handler of a particular file type. Much like right-clicking a document on your desktop and selecting Open With creates a connection between a file type and an application. For example, let's say that you want your application to let users set a background picture. There are many ways users can pick an image. They can take one with a camera, select one from the gallery, select one from wallpapers, or even paint a new picture. Writing one solution for each of these use cases is hard work. So why not let the system do the work for you? Using web activities, you just tell the system that you want the user to pick an image. The system then knows what kind of apps the user has that allow to get an image and give this one back to you. You don't need to know, and the user doesn't need to grant you access to the app. You just get back an image, which is exactly what you wanted. Let's see how that process looks. Our application has a background image in place, and we want to be able to change the image with a click of a button. Our app shouldn't have to access the data of other apps, which is why we call a web activity in order to pick an image. That way, the user can pick the app best suited to pick an image. In other words, we don't access other apps for the users, but instead leave them in control. Now let's take a look at the code. The app is a very small self-contained HTML file with some JavaScript and an external CSS file which is not important, but makes things look a bit nicer. The HTML contains only two elements, an image and a button. The image is the background of the application and will be replaced with the image we'll retrieve from the user by calling a web activity. In the JavaScript, we access the button and attach a click handler to call a web activity. We create a new activity using a MOS prefix, as web activities aren't standardized yet. When we create the activity, we pass it a configuration object. In this case, the name of the activity is pick, which allows us to get pictures. And the data object contains a type property with an array of MIME types that will filter the kinds of images we receive. Using this, the web activity knows to tell the user to give us an image. When the user clicks our button, the web activity's UI launches asking the user to give us an image and listing all the possible sources. Web activities are DOM requests, which are objects that work asynchronously, which is why we need to define two handlers. One for the success case and another for the error case. We do that by assigning functions to the on success and on error properties of the pick web activity. The success handler of the pick web activity returns a blob. To display a blob as an image, we have to convert it to a URL object that we can assign to the image. We do that by using window.url.createObjectURL. All we need then to display the image is to assign it to the SRC attribute of the image in the HTML document. If the error handler is called, it means that either something went wrong at some point in the flow or that the user canceled the flow altogether. If a real error occurred, we will show an alert dialog showing the error. If the user canceled the flow, we will simply exit for the sake of this example. Now we have our application working just as we wanted, and we didn't have to implement any logic for picking images. Using web activities, the system automatically provided our app with the necessary resources. This example shows just a small part of the power of web activities. To get a real feel of what can be done with them, head over to the MDN wiki, where you can find documentation for all the possible activities, their parameters, and examples showing how to use them.